Hey guys, hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good twilight, good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are guys. And thank you for coming to my channel. Please hit that subscription button and also hit that bell. And after you hit that bell, make sure you select all so you get every single one of my notifications guys. And also make sure you have your notifications turned on on your YouTube app. Or as you won't get the notifications no matter how many times you hit the bell. Alright? Now, let's jump into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. This is messages from your guides. So let's see what our guides have to say to us because after all, they're in the 5D. They know what's going on in the background. Even if it's not coming up on the surface, they know exactly the struggles we're facing, what we're going through, and how to help us. So let's see what their message is for us. We can't do it without them, guys. You can't heal what you don't know if it exists or not. That, that wasn't said right. You can't heal something if you do not know that there is something wrong. <laughs> yes. So our angels, I love this feather. Thank you, Jasmine. All right, let's see. I'm using my deck, guys. Work on me, Twin Flame Oracle. When you want to figure out what's wrong with your situation, what's going on inside of you, what you need to work on to become a better person, you can find them on my website, guys. They come in this beautiful, clear packaging. It's on twindyholisticboutique.square.site. All right, angels, guys, Father God, what's the message, please? Ancestors, what's the message? Oh my gosh, yes, this is, okay, I'm excited because I, 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 I saw this while I was pre-shuffling, this came out already, so this is just like, yes, somebody out there, you can expect your financial situation to be improving, because during this time, we are struggling, we're all struggling financially, but as children of God, as twin flames, as manifestors, as creators of our own reality. Everything and anything in our lives can be improved by meditating, by praying, by thinking about it, by manifesting. So if you're going through a tough time right now, you just need to give it all to God. Let it go to your, to your angels. Let it go to God. And you will see these changes manifest in your life. And that's a sure sign. And ding. That's a sure sign that your financial situation is about to improve. You just got to keep putting in that effort, whatever it is that you're doing. Whatever business you want to start. Whatever course you're taking, whatever it is, it's going to lead you to financial stability. Get rid of anger. So some of us, we do have some anger issues here that we need to work on. And yes, it's there. Don't pretend it's not there. It's there. It's there. Or else this would not come out. <laughs> this would not have come out if it's not there. It might not be in everyone, but it's, it's in some. That's why it's there. We need to work on our anger issues. Because happiness awaits you guys. We need to learn to work on our anger issues. We cannot feel love if we're angry all the time. We cannot feel love if we're concentrating on anger, hurt, and pain. We need to let these things go so love can reign, so God can reign. Once you release 
the anger that you're feeling, then that space that you have created, that space would now be available for love to reign. Break away from tradition. So there are some of us here that really need to get out of the box. Really need to do things when it's supposed to be done. Not allow tradition or society to dictate, to dictate to you whenever it is that you should make a move. Take action. Or dictate to you because you're of a certain race or you're from... in a certain part of society where you're going to say I'm not qualified I can't do this I can't do that we're not meant to be because this person has more money than me I'm poor, they're rich I, I won't fit in contact this person no I won't because they're supposed to make the first move they're the man when you've, you're getting that burning desire inside of you to make that contact, to make that contact. When you want to start that business and you're looking and you're saying, oh, there are too many out there, too many of the same thing. I won't last because I don't have the tools to do this. Break away from tradition, society is dictating to you what will and what will not happen. But the only person that you should listen to that should dictate to you how your life should go is Almighty God. Because God has control over everything, society, you, everything. And when God says make a move, you make a move. Because when you make that move, you know it will be the right move. You can never go wrong. And that move won't necessarily be positive to you. But that move that you will make will be positive and have a positive effect on somebody else, which will in turn reflect on you. So sometimes when we are supposed to make a move, we don't. And if we make a move and the outcome is negative, we get upset, we get angry, and we say, how is it that I felt to make this move, and when I made this move, it, it, became, part, it became negative. I got a, ne a negative um, effect. But slow your roll. Hold your horses. Remember, thank you, God uses everything. God uses everything, both good and bad for his or your upliftment I should say to make sure that you succeed to make sure that you are always rising always succeeding so even if something turns out negative now all that was was needed was for you to make that step so an action can be put into place so something could get started. And when it ends, you'll see how it truly impacted you and how that impact is positive and how it will help you because guess what? That negative effect on you is a positive effect on somebody else because if there's something negative happening, then there's something positive happening on the other end. So you got to get away, get that anger out of there. So you can really sit and look at what's happening so you can see what's going on. Paying attention. What else please? Wow. See? See God's guidance, not your own. Seek God's guidance, not your own. So do not pay attention as to how something turns out. God knows what he's doing. Exactly what he is doing. You just need to move when God says to move. And he will take care of the rest. No matter what the situation looks like. 
God will take care of the rest. God is working everything out. Your angels, your guides, your ancestors, they're all working in the background for you. And once again, even if things to you seem negative, then there's going to be a positive. You just got to wait and see. With God, all things are possible. So never leave God out of anything that you're doing. Never, ever leave God out of anything that you're doing. And again, once the situation around you, again, may seem negative, may seem like you, you will not achieve, may seem like you cannot succeed. But once you call on God for your strength, for your guidance, you see that everything is possible. Because now you're looking with your third eye. Now you're trusting the almighty power, the almighty God who is in control of everything. You just got to trust God. And take that leap of faith. So there's definitely some of you here who needs to make a move. And you may be holding back. You may be scared to do so. You may be allowing. Where is it? Tradition. <laughs> allowing tradition to keep you back. Because that's not the way it's supposed to be done. That's not how it is. Society says they are the man. They should take action first. Society says a woman shouldn't rule. Society says this type of job is for a man. Society says this type of job is for a woman. Break out of tradition. Break away from tradition. On the top, it says, stop being negative. Stop being negative. All negativity does is bring you anger. It's bring you pain and hurt. Oh my gosh. Happiness awaits you. This is the second time. This is confirmation. This is confirmation. Whatever you're planning on doing, whatever you're getting that urge to do, Divine Feminine is here. Because I'll be doing the Divine Masculines later on my Masculine channel or manual. So this is for you, Divine Feminines. Listen to that guidance you're hearing. And follow those steps. That's guidance from the higher powers. Now let's get some guidance here from the keepers of the light. Let's see what they have to say to you. Okay, keepers of the light, what's your message for your people, please? Okay, we have faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. Exactly, guys. So when things work out in a negative way for you, at least that's how you're seeing it as negative, always think about the positive side. Always look to a brighter future. Never let that negativity get you down. See the light in yourself and the world. See all the positivity that could come from what will be happening or what happened. And you will be guided. Guided to the end. Where you will exactly see how that positivity will come out. And how that negativity in the past is going to actually help you. I don't know if I said that right. Make sure you're always looking at the positive side. Even if something goes wrong, focus on the positive. Because even the negative is set out for your accomplishment. Because you're a servant of God, you're a child of God. And as I said before, God uses everything, everything, to make sure his children succeed. You have the Shekinah, sacred self. Unleash your spirit. Express your gifts. Dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Some of you here, you have gifts, you have talents. 
but you're afraid to use them because you're focused on what society may say in regards to what you're doing. Unleash your spirit. Unleash your gift. Seek God's guidance, not your own. And make sure you are looking to God, 1515, for that guidance. Always seek God's guidance before you take action, before you make a move. So you will never go wrong in whatever it is that you are doing. Yao Serenonus, Life Force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. And this is very much true because even last night in the in the in the in the premiere we were talking about the sexual energy that everyone was feeling this is oh 1551 this is just bringing forth all that energy inside of you that you're matching with your divine masculine and your divine masculine matching their energy with yours everything is coming into alignment and you're being drawn to each other everything is working together for good See God's guidance, not your own. You have white eagle and sister spirit. Connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. Exactly. A family wound or pattern can be healed now, which is exactly you are being guided to take that step, to take that leap of faith, to see the positive instead of focusing on the negative because there's something that you need to heal, something that you need to change. Paul the Venetian, experiencing grace, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Guys, pay attention to those, to those um, little nudges that you're getting. This is, this is guidance here that, that's going to help you to overcome something in your life. That's going to bring about a change. Which is exactly why you're not supposed to focus on the negative. Because once you do, you're going to remain in that negative energy. And you won't be able to change anything. There's something here that somebody needs to change. Master Buddha. Deep connections. Trust your inner voice. Again, guys, you need to listen. Somebody out there needs to listen to something. Listen to that voice that you're getting, that you're receiving, that message. Pay attention. Take action when you're supposed to. And you have the divine director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. And what did I tell you is waiting for you? What did the card say twice? And now this is three times. Happiness awaits you. It's like you're going to be breaking some sort of tradition here. You're going to be breaking some sort of family line. Whatever that the situation is. But in order to do so, you cannot focus on anger. You cannot focus on the negative. Keep pushing. Keep going. Listening to that inner voice that you're receiving. Listen to God. Because he's leading you to that path where you can heal that situation. And Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Yeah, there's something that's definitely changing in your lives right now. Something is definitely changing for you. But somebody is not following the whispers of their heart. You're not listening to your intuition. Which is exactly why this message is coming out. Pay attention to your intuition, guys. And listen to what direction you're getting. Meditate so you can hear more clearly. And as I said, your manifestors, your creators, you can create the future that you need. But you just got to pay attention and follow God's guidance. Green Terra, Supreme Protection, you are protected. Cards are being cut. Move beyond limitations. Trust. Break free from tradition. Tradition is holding you back. Negative thoughts are holding you back. Patterns from the past are holding you back. But you are being told now you are being protected. Those cards, those, excuse me, those limitations, they are being cut. So you're being freed. You're being freed. Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Oh my God, can we say it anymore? Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increased. This is your time to shine, guys. Abundance is waiting for you. 
Your financial situation is about to improve. Do not hold back. Do not allow tradition to stop you. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Listen to God. Listen to tradition. And Mahavatar Babaji, soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. That's exactly what I was saying to you. Instead of focusing on the negative, dig deeper. Focus on the positive. And you'll see the connection to everything. You see why something didn't work out because there's something great or something better that's coming for you. You see why something didn't work out, so you'll see. You see exactly the line that is following, like one, like one action, like a boulder, right? When you start the boulder, it goes down the hill and it starts to pick up things, pick up, pick up, until it gets bigger, expanding and growing and growing. So it's like something has to start, whether it be positive or negative, for that line to be created to get to the end, to get to your happiness, your prosperity, your abundance. So not everything that happens that's negative is going to remain negative. Just listen to your heart. Listen to God. Let's get you a message from the big man upstairs. The God himself, God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Let's see what he has to say to you, Divine Feminists. Someone here may be wanting to start a business. I'm getting to say it. Take the initiative. Pray to God. Ask for guidance. And take that leap of faith. Embrace adventure in your life. Jesus said, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. The kingdom of heaven belongs to you. You are his children. He's here to help you, guide you, protect you. Prosperity is yours. Abundance is yours. Peace is yours. Joy is yours. Because you are his children and he always provides for his children. No matter what the situation looks like, stop focusing on the negative. Take care of the little things. The river of God has plenty of water. It provides a bountiful harvest of grain. For you have ordered it so exactly. Manifesting. You can manifest what you desire, guys. Focus on what's truly important. Focus on happiness. Focus on peace. Focus on joy. Focus on your prosperity. Focus on God. Stop focusing on what seems so abundant right now, which is negativity. The negativity that's happening on the outside. Even like if you get sick, guys, do not focus on the illness. Focus on your recovery. Focus on your recovery. And do not, do not keep that negativity surrounding you. Focus on God. Because he's there to help you, to give you that peace that you need, that you desire. Come into a spirit of excellence. Whatever you do, do well. Whatever you do, do well. And you guys may be seeing these doves. Release your cares to God. Oh, that I had wings like a dove. When I, oh, then I would fly away and rest. Like I said, you may be seeing these doves. Peace is coming your way. Abundance is coming your way. Joy is coming your way. Love is coming your way. And did I say abundance already? Yeah. Bathe in divinity. His coming is as brilliant as the sunrise. Look out for your abundance. It's coming to you. It's coming to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Prosperity is coming your way. All the joy that God promised you, it's coming your way. 
Just trust in him. Know that he's coming. Now let's get you a little guidance here. Okay, let's see what message. What's the message, please, for your divine feminines today? What's the message, please? Five of Swords. Often you get caught up in the struggles to better yourself. This can come at the expense of friends and family. Reevaluate any fights you've you've let yourself been drawn into. Remember that you don't have to accept every invitation to an argument. A hand offered is better than a sword drawn. See exactly all the negative. Do not focus on negativity. Someone comes around you with a negativity. Do not get drawn into it. Do not get drawn into it. That's the trick. That's the enemy trying to keep you trapped. Because the enemy knows once you're upset, once you're angry, nothing gets done. And sometimes we do things out of anger that we regret later on. So in order to prevent that from happening, remain calm. Feel that peace. Feel that joy. Focus on your path. And let God lead you instead of the anger you're feeling. Two of Wands. An action must be taken. Some things all, sometimes all the options are good. Your role is to step into one or the other. Which one will you choose? Remember that this is about fully committing to the choice. You can't hold on to one while pursuing the other. Pick one now. So see, somebody does have a choice to make. Somebody has a choice to make. Somebody needs to move forward here. And once you start to move forward, once you make that choice, dedicate yourself to it. And that's how you receive your abundance. Eight of Wands. Now is the time to make your move. All the elements have come together. See? Make that move. Take that leap of faith. Take action. Put your ideas into action. Expect to be busy today as others come to you with their own requests for assistance or there may be important news. This card assures you that everything will be successfully resolved and what a good way to end it. Everything will be working out for your good. Everything is going to be positive. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Listen to that whisper of your heart. Love you. Let go and let God. And do not forget, guys, to purchase a reading, my book or my keychain. Go to twindyflamed.square.site or to purchase my money magnet bracelets, protection bracelets, and money lip oils, and also your self-care packages. Go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site. Love you all. Let go and let God. And I see you later at your general message. Later.